Howdy Fox, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to more TGC 2019 and we have another TGC Tours CC Design uh, Contest course for you today. This one is by Sir The Aussie and it is called Bradshaw Hollows. Now everything's on default and the fairways are coming in at soft and the greens are normal, the green speed is medium fast. We're coming off the white tees pin set number one, 6,934 yards I believe. And without further ado, Let's get into it. Well, before we start, just want to say a little bit late, but hey, happy 4th of July, all you guys over there in the States. Hope you've had a nice one. Okay, teach you to a CC design comp as nice as it can be with the amount of shit that's happening these days. <laughs> okay, now I just read through a little, he's put a little write up on the TGC Tours forums. Over 220 hours he spent on this course, so. And by the looks of some of the screenshots, there is a lot of retaining walls. So we're going to have a little look around. Let's have a look. And apparently all the tea boxes are unique. They're all very different. I mean, look at that. That is very nicely done. Oh, I do like that. Take a little screenshot there. But no doubt there's going to be many screenshots that I'll probably take around here. I'll try not to take too long, um, buzzing about, having a look. Okay, nice little practice area. The clubhouse is pretty nice. I do like the sort of entrance he's got into the clubhouse here, into the course. Nice big sort of gate on it. Okay, let's go up and have a look at the the plot. And I can see straight away there is a lot of retaining wall. We've got a little waterfall system down there. And quite a big river system. It looks to go all the way around. Very nice. Right. So let's go down here. And by the looks, i just seen a tennis court down here as well. So let's zip down here. In through the trees. There's a little nice practice green area there as well. Okay. Nice tennis court area. Where the crowd's watching the tennis. Now, this is something I've understood. I've seen a lot of designers do this. They put like a port of potties right next to the grandstands and things like that. Uh, you think they'd be over here or something. Can you imagine the smell on a nice hot summer's day that these guys are going to be smelling? <laughs> I wouldn't like it. I do like the pattern system that he's got there. Very clear, very clean. Follows all the way around. It looks like it goes all the way around the course for the... Um, the golf buggies. Okay, it looks like we've got quite a few winding fairways. Looks, some of them look a little bit thin. We've got nice bridge work there as well. And look at the retaining walls. That's a lovely looking waterfall. Let's have a little pan around and have a look at that when the light catches it. Ah, it's nice. That is so nice. It's done a really good job there. And a little bit of rock planting there and the plants and all that as, it's, as the water's coming down. Just adds a little bit of colour to it. And again, retain and wall. <clears throat> now, that looks like we're hitting down that way, is it? Or we're coming back up this way. Uh, there's a green there. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't know if that's going to get in the way. I suppose you do need, like, retaining walls to, to kind of support the, the sort of soil and that. Okay, again, nice planting. As I do like the colour that he's done his path there. Again, more retaining. I mean, look at this. That is a lot of retaining. <laughs> a nice hedging work as well. And I really do hope in, in the new game we get a bit of a better looking hedge than what we get here. Because it really doesn't look very nice, the, the hedge, if you know what I mean. And don't get me wrong, the, the planting and the way it looks there is absolutely fantastic, but. Uh, I think HB really need to step up the game with the, the way it looks there. Uh, some of these assets really look. Uh, especially the new consoles not coming out. I think they can start pushing it a little bit now. Okay, you got a nice gazebo there. And again, with all these tea boxes looks like they have quite a lot of retaining wall work around them. As you said, all of them are pretty unique. Very nicely done. And again, can you imagine how long? I mean, he did say 220 hours he spent on it, but can you imagine doing all that? I just, I don't know how you guys do it. I really, really don't. You just have the, the patience you guys have to do this kind of thing. I couldn't do it. 
not that I'd have this sort of artistic eye to do it, but I just couldn't do it. And again, lovely plant, long grasses and that, just a, along the water system. The way the light catches that as well. That's going to be another screenshot. <laughs> okay, we've got a par three here with a long sort of wooden walkway coming down it. And you come down the steps off the tee box. Oh, I think you'd walk over. I don't think you'd take your buggy over. And there's the car if you want to win the, the car on the par three. And again, lovely. The planting, very nicely done. Now this is his first competition with what he says in the, the right up. And I think, I mean, for a pure fantasy course, it looks absolutely stunning. The work and design work that he's put into this is top notch. I mean, you know, the last few courses we've played, um, they've been pretty um, sort of realistic. Uh, the way they play and the way they look. But I do like every now and again you get these just pure, pure fantasy courses. I mean, the imagination some of these designers have is just unbelievable. Okay, as I said, I don't want <clears throat> to make the video too, too long because I know you guys, a lot of you will just watch the, the first part and then flick to the end and see what the score is. <laughs> Again, nice plan. Okay, you've got a couple of houses as well. A little gazebo there. Nice sort of roadway. Yeah, if I look at my analytics, uh, it's probably the same for Abercrack and early in that as well. A lot of people just watch the, the sort of fly through and the flybys and things like that and just sort of skip. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I do it as well sometimes. That's a nice looking house. I love the sort of white picket fence and all that as well. I don't blame you. I couldn't, wouldn't want to sit all the time sit and watch a 40 minute video of somebody playing golf when you could be on the course yourself playing it okay another nice retaining wall look at that he's got a bloody ladder you have to get out of this one and again retaining walls that's a lot of wood a lot of retaining walls right we're going to head back up to the tee and we're going to get started you've got a nice little sort of water feature there let me have a quick look at this little sort of pondy area here with the light very nice. I do like the, the sort of planting with the rocks and stuff, the plants. And you got all them grasses now around the green area. Very nicely done. Okay, looks like we've got some some more little houses and this stuff just dotted around on the outskirts of the course. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, you got a little sort of boat and lake over this side. Nice big winding bridge. I was just about to jump onto the tee there until I seen the sailing boat there. Okay, again, let's just pop down here and have a look at that. Very nicely done with the plant. Got a little sort of island there. And you've got the sailing boat. Yeah, very nice. Looking forward to playing this. As you know, I do like playing um, really natural looking courses and RCRs and things like that, but you've got to give time for these uh, amazing fantasy courses as well. And this does look very, very good. Okay. Right, I'm going to head back to the tea now. Uh, where is the clubhouse? What the neck. There is a lot of retaining wall, isn't there? Is down here. Oh, there's another waterfall. We didn't see that one. As I say, sometimes it's just... It can be a little overwhelming. It's very, very busy. A lot going on. You miss a lot of things as well. There are quite a few little gazebos on the sort of tea areas as well. The tea blocks. Or should I say the big tea complexes. That must That's a clubhouse there, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that must be around here somewhere. Am I over here? <laughs> I don't know. Nope, there I am down there, look. Yeah. A nice little rowing boat down there as well. Yeah, that, this this is really nice. <clears throat> there I am down there. A couple of little rowing boats there as well. On a little dock. That's superb. That is really, really nice. Right, let's get on the tee box. Let's get this started. You'll probably see more stuff as we're going through. It looks like we're hitting right over the top of the lake here. Let's put the HUD back on. 
Okay. Bradshaw Hollows, hole one, 574 yards, par five, stroke index 18. Right. Three mile an hour wind against this. I think I'm going to drop this down to the two wood. Okay, pretty good swing. And to be honest, you know, I've said this a few times, you've watched my channel, I've never been a huge fan of the open theme, but he has done a, a superb job on this. He's used a lot of the green trees and just a few of the, the other colored trees, if you know what I mean. Okay, what have we got here? 290, 19 down. So we're not going to reach the green here. We're going to reach, could reach the edge of it. But probably would leave us one massive putt. I'll tell you what, let's just smack it down there, see what it leaves us, shall we? I'll check my light. Nice little water feature there, just between my legs and the club, you can see it. <clears throat> okay, this is going to be very close, or it's going to be on the edge of the green. Oh, very close. So that's going to leave us either a little chip or a flop shot. 21 yards, so it's going to be a flop shot. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of loft on this. I want this to stop pretty quick. Okay, we've got the perfect down swing. Oh, that has rolled on quite a bit. Bit of a fast um, back swing there, though. That's what made that just travel that <clears throat> so much further. Okay, what have we got here? 157 um, greens, so 24. One feet up. Shouldn't turn too much, I don't think. Oh, nice pace. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I should have just dropped that down. One more club and just give myself a pitch into the green there. So we'll take up a, a par there. I'm just a bit tangled with my headphones and my wire from my controller here. Sort that out. Okay, hold to 141 yards, par three, stroke index 12. Okay, 137, so it's playing 139. We are 136 with the pitching wedge, so I think we should be good for that, you know. I really hope they sort the sounds out as well. Some of the sounds are the very slappy sound, the irons and stuff. Oh, that was nice. Oh, go on. Oh, oh a little bit more, I think. Yeah, you get a really horrible slappy sound, even when you hit a nice, perfect, perfect shot. Okay, pick up the birdie there. I hope you're enjoying these courses. Like I said, there was 56 courses in this competition. I mean, I have a crack of trying to bang some of these out. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm, I'm going to try and get one, as I said in another video as well. I'm going to try and get one done every night. So you might see a, a lot of courses coming out over the next week. I uh, hope you've enjoyed them. Hope you've watched them. Don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs> Okay, what have we got here? Another par five. Okay, hole three, 566 yards, par five, stroke index six. Now, oh, I don't know whether to try and just aim it down there and try and get down this. This is a very thin, I don't like, I hate, well, I won't say I hate, but I don't like it when they put bunkers right in the middle of the fairways like that. But that was a pretty good strike. I'm kind of hoping it hits this little section and doesn't kick off anywhere. Yeah, there it goes. Kicked off just to the left-hand side there. Now you're white 96%, 256 to the pin. And um, which way is this going to slope? It's hard to see as well. That's why I'm wet. I can't wait to the, the new game. I think that's all going to slope right to left there. So there's no point actually going for the pin because I'm going to end up over here somewhere is the full green grids. Can't wait for that. So do I drop it down or... Do you know what? I think I might just go for it. I didn't realize I still had the two with there that I could play. 89, 94%. It's going to get on the green, I think. Oh, we hit so fast. It's going to pull it a little bit over to the left.
At least we're on that. Now he's going to leave us a putt. Quite a lengthy putt, though. <clears throat> but we should be able to get it close and pick up the birdie, I hope. Come on, Bo. Stop now. There we go. Yeah, as I said, can't wait for the next game. So we've got full green grids, because I hate doing this. But that starts off a little bit left to right. And it looks like it's all going a little bit left to right. Okay, 54 feet, two feet up. Let's just hit it from there. Oh, I don't think it's got the legs. Nope. I'm kind of hoping we do pick up the birdie here, though. I should have hit that a bit harder. But we do get the birdie. Course challenge completed, no hazard hole. K hole 4, 388 yards. Par 4 stroke index 14. Getting great view off the tee here. Now, see, this is my only worry about a lot of these <coughs> retaining walls. If I kind of push or pull a little bit left or right and I'm stuck behind really close to the edge of one of these retaining walls, you're going to end up battering the ball backwards coming off them. Do you know if I, like, land up here or something, or if I was playing short with a lot of wind and land there, you're going to end up hitting those retaining walls, I think. So that's something you need to sort of be careful with as well. Ah, uh, that looks good. I must admit, uh, the last couple of rounds, like I said yesterday in the other course, um, my tempo's been not too bad, actually. Except for that... 13th hole. <laughs> that's, that's still bugging me, that hole. Right, okay, 87. And a one foot down. I'll tell you what. Mm, I might just go with a full shot here. And a bit of loft. I hope they didn't put too much loft on that. It looks like I did put quite a bit, but that, that's fine. Absolutely bang on distance wise. So that's going to give us another birdie. And we're off to a pretty good start. K hole 5, 467 yards, par 4, stroke in next 8. The invisible crowds, hear them applauding me there. Yeah, again, nice little dock there, a couple of rowing boats, nice planting. And it's, like I said, like these little coloured trees here, they just kind of stand out every now and again. He's got them planted, not overdone. Just has that nice bit of colour. Oh, that is a peach. Almost bang in the centre of both markers and boom, right down the centre. Can I do that all the time? 303 yards. Okay, a little bit of ref right to left movement there, but that wind, they should sort of just even each other out, I think. Okay, 162, two feet up. Let's put a little bit of loft on. Okay, that should be good. Oh, it's running up lovely. <clears throat> and that's going to set us up for another nice little birdie putt. You've got some cracking views around this course, though. Very nice. Oh, sorry about that. Give me one second. Okay, this is a par 3 that you win the car on. 06, 186 yards, par 3, stroke index 4, pins at the back. A 4 mile an hour wind, that's not too bad. 186, 8 down, so it's playing, yeah, round about 183. So I think, it's a tiny, tiny touch of down loft there. Okay, that's looking not bad. It's a little bit right of the pin, though. 
and we didn't win the car. <laughs> I'll take the birdie though. Have a quick look. Oh, a nice big string of birdies. Look at that. Get in there. Okay, hole seven. Five hundred uh, four hundred and fifty-four yards. Par four stroke index two. As we're just hitting past the par three there, so it looks like you sort of come back down and over to the next tee box. Nice bit of planting there as well. Hold down the sort of side of the, the bank. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and I'll drive up. I don't think, I think that'll probably run out. Now, that should get us to the green anyway, the two woods. So I think we're going to play the two woods here. Pretty thin down here, though. And that'll do. Lovely. 268 yards, two wood. Right hand side of the fairway, should give us a nice angle into the green here. Okay, 176, 6 down, so it's playing 174. Now we should be good here, I think. Tiny touch of down loft on that. Uh, tiny touch of loft, should I say. So it looks like we're... Oh, right, let's try this. I am swinging very well. Let's hope I keep it up. I shouldn't say that. Curse myself. <laughs> oh, it's rolled on a bit. I, I was going to put a bit more loft on it, but I didn't want to flutter without a bunker there. Okay, well, we've got 23 feet, one foot up. Oh, get in there. And the, the birdie roll keeps going. Hole 8, 550 yards. Par 5, stroke index 16. And again, I love the, the raised tee boxes. You get a really good view off them. Now that bit on the right... Um, is it really necessary? Is it, you're actually going to play over there? I can't see anybody playing over here at all. And then you've got this big bunker again. It's very hard to get down there. So let me... Yeah, see that tree might just come into play there. If you play down here. Oh, well, that's tough. There's not a lot of room there, is there? And not much room there. But it looks like that's sloping left to right. That looks... A lot flatter, but blooming heck, I'd have to, gonna have to hit another good shot right down here. Oh crap! It's a fast. That's going to pull it into the bunker. It's not plugged, so we should get good distance off it anyway. Oh, 88 to 80 to 88 is a bit plugged. With it rolled, it should give me more of a percentage than that, I think. 75 to 83. Now, I think we're just going to go with a 4 iron. Oh, that's my worst swing yet out of the bunker. Yeah, great job on the retainer wall there as well. Different levels to it, he's got. Okay, 54 yards, 3 feet up, so it's playing 55. Right, so we are going to go with the pitch. And we're going to have to put quite a bit of loft on this, I think. Get it perfect, perfect. Pushed it a little bit over to the left. But hopefully we'll pick up the birdie here. And we do. Nice. Yeah, he did say in his little write-up, it, it is going to play rather easy. 
as you know this is for the CC bracket over at TC Tours yeah as I said in the last couple of holes you're getting a great view off these raised tee boxes okay right I think we're going to go to the yeah I think we're going to go to the left here That was almost a slow. It is pulling a little bit right, but are we going to make it? Oh, ho, 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 that was close. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 81. Six feet down. So it's playing 79. Let's go with this 73. That should do as I think. Should give us a little bit of a run. Up to the pin. Let's check my lie. Okay, we get the perfect, perfect. Perfect distance. Not bad at all. Okay, eight under. Wow. We're only on the tenth. Come on. Oh, I love the little short par three. These are the holes I like. Hole 10, 121 yards. Par three, stroke index 11. Okay, 118. Eight down. Just playing around about 115. Should I put just a tiny touch of loft on it? Oh, it's going a little bit right of the pin. Distance is pretty good though. Oh, that is not bad at all. Should give us another nice little tap in birdie. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. A little bit more pace on that and that stops our birdie run. <clears throat> Okay, hole 11, 368 yards. Par 4, stroke index 7. There's a few things that just caught my eye there. This is a little bit busy, this hole. Very busy. Okay, aiming right over there. Where's the green? Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Nope, going to have to go with the driver. Oh, don't start going now. Damn it. Right, 1039 down, so it's playing ah, 100 yards. 108. Right, 70, 77%. I think we're going to have to go up to the 122 here. Oh, that's turning nice. <clears throat> Is it going to stay? Yep, yeah, it's going to stick right at the edge of the fringe there. It's going to give us a putt anyway. Now, have I moved my controller over at all? Because those first nine holes, I was hitting really, really well. Okay, 18 feet, 5 inches up. Ah, that's going to be just a par. K hole 12, 496 yards. Par 4, stroke index 3. Oh, come on. That should be okay, though. 
over to the left hand side of the fairway. <coughs> Listen, my swing's back to normal. <laughs> 192, so it's playing 193. 183. Yeah, let's put a bit of loft on this. Oh, that's better. It's turning in nice as well. Okay, looks like we're going to have a bit of a downhill putt. Depends how far this ball comes back. Yeah, speed up a little bit. There we go. Oh, just missed on the left hand edge there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that front nine. Eight under. And I, I missed. I screwed up on that par five. Now we've got a string of pars there. So my swing all the way through that front nine was absolutely bang on. And then these last three holes, a little bit wayward. But let's see if we can get it back. K hole 13, 491 yards. Par five, stroke index 17. Okay, shortish par five here. I can get on in two. Oh, look at this. So I don't think there's any point in actually going with the driver here. We go down to the two wood. Do you know what? I might even drop it down to two iron. So I think the two wood with that wind is going to run out. Yeah, I'm going to go with the two iron here. That's a bit better. Uh oh. Should hold. Yep, that's going to be fine. I mean, it was pretty shortish, but might still, I don't know. Oh yeah, 229, 12 up, so it's playing 230, 233. We're on 225 with the two iron. We're going to have to go with the two iron here. This might be a little bit long, because we're hitting off a downhill slope as well. But if it goes too long, it might just, just go off the back a little bit. Oh no, that's absolutely spot on. That'll do. That'll do lovely. <clears throat> Got a chance at an eagle here. Okay, 16 feet, one inch up. Oh yes, nice one. That puts us to minus 10. I mean, look at that. Sebastian was Paul Waring, Daniel Berger, Brendan Steele, Nate Lashley. None of the big guns are up there though. 0,191 yards, par 3, stroke index 1. Downhill looking, par 3. Yeah, that looks lovely from there. Look at that. Very nice with the waterfall on the right hand side there. Okay, 191.26 down, so it's playing right about 182. We've got 183 here. With a bit of loft on it. Oh yes, that's not bad at all. A little bit right, absolutely bang on pin high though. Oh, it's caught a slope. Oh, where's it going? Oh, you. Dirty. <laughs> oh, I should have played a little bit more left that. Okay, let's chip this up. And we'll take the par. Nice view there with the waterfall. K hole 15, 407 yards. Par 4 stroke index 5. Again, just follow the little pathway, the little cart path over the bridge. 
And you've got another bridge taking you over the other side there. Where's the green? Ah, there it is there. That should be okay. Yeah, I think the reason why my swing is getting better, say the last couple of weeks, I only usually do maybe two, three videos a week, which is only the only time I play the game is when I do a video. So that's two, two, three rounds a week. But this last week, I've been battering quite a few out. So I think the more I'm playing, uh, the better I'm getting, <laughs> which is the way it should be, I suppose. Right. Let's put a bit of loft on that. Oh, stay there. Yeah, it's just stopped there. Just held. Oh, look at that. I'd say another five inches towards my back foot there, and I would have been down that slope, I reckon. These are tough little putts, though, these. Oh, but we drained that one. Okay, hole 1664 yards. Par 3, stroke index 13. Nice little sort of step works as well. He's got going up onto these retaining walls. Very nicely done, must admit. <clears throat> okay, 11 mile an hour. The wind's gone up to now. 165, so it's playing 164. 164. Yeah, I think I'm just going to hit it with this. Oh, the wind's just dropped now. So I'm going to down loft it just a touch. Oh, no! And that was not one of HB's swings. That was all me. <laughs> That's not too bad, actually. We might get a good pitch out of this. Or a flop shot. Yeah, definitely. That wasn't one of HB's um, weird swings. That was all me, that was. Oh, it's fast downswing. Damn it. Oh, it's coming back though. Now, hopefully we'll pick up the par here. Don't want to drop a shot. Not on the 16th. Come on. All right, two inches down. Just a little tap. Oh, nice. We get the par anyway. That was a good save hitting that retaining wall there. Okay, hole 17, 408 yards. Par four, stroke index nine. Okay, it's, it's quite hard to see where the green is going to be. Ah, there it is, on some of these holes. Nice river system he's got there. Again, a little bit busy looking, I think. It's a bit, you don't know which way, which way you're looking. But he's done a really good job. I really like the course. Two wood, driver, or oh, we could bounce it. Nah, <laughs> let's not tempt fate. I'm going to go with the two wood, aim it down here, let the wind just carry in that little bit for us. That should be okay. Get up that slope. Go on. Up, 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 up. There we go. Okay, 136, four down, playing 135. Uh, we'll drop that down to 122. A little bit of down loft. Oh, come on. I'm just going to push it way out to the right. <clears throat> See, I do own up when I know it's me that's doing it. <laughs> it's just, like I say, like, like all the videos that's happened, and you can tell, you guys know, if you, you play this game, you know straight away when you've, you've done it. Hit a bad shot or not. Oh, that's not got the legs, I don't think. That's going to turn in as well. Look at that. Oh, yes, what a putt. I didn't think I hit that hard enough. Get in there. A quick look at the scorecard. Not too bad. Four under so far on the back nine. Pretty good. 
018, 554 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. A little bit of a wobble, just on the turn. We've kind of got it back now. Okay, there's that waterfall there. Okay, 11 mile an hour wind coming in from the left hand side here. Right. Gonna to have to go with the two woods here. Oh, that tree is gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna aim it right down the center there, maybe. And let's just put a little bit more loft on it just to try and turn it a little bit more to the left. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Now, we could aim down this section here. Gives a little... Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to drop it here. 285. No, 203. That's going to leave us a pitch up. 225. That might have to be a... A flop shot. I'm going to go with a pitch. I'm going to aim it here. Let the wind just drag it around that little bit. Shoo! That wind should still push it to the to the right. Oh, got a nice kick there. And that is going to set us up for a nice pitch shot. I hope on the green. <clears throat> and sixty-nine. Yep. We're playing what, 60? It's playing what, Ooh, 71, we're 68, so put a bit of loft on that. Oh, lovely. That's going to set us up for a nice little birdie putt on the final hole. And to finish. Minus 13. That is a bloody good score. I've really pleased the way I played that. Okay, now that is Bradshaw Hallows, and that is by Sir Leosi, and that is his CC Design Entry Course. Very, very nice. Some little bits, I thought, maybe a little bit too busy here and there. Some very thin parts of the fairway that you had to hit when you had the bunker straight down the middle of the fairways. But all in all, Beautiful fantasy course. He's done a cracking job and you can tell that he has spent 220 hours on it. That is a long time to spend on a course. So guys, give this a play. It deserves it. Absolutely fantastic. For a fan pure fantasy course. Loved it. Great, great course. And look at the bloody AI. I'm sure I had them set on very hard. I always do. But none of the big guns are there, so I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I just got it wrong. <laughs> anyway, great course. Give it a play, guys. And again, uh, happy belated 4th of July to use American guys over there. And don't forget, hit that like button. I'll catch you again next time. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.